South Dakota's Republican governor, Kristi Noem, was so dead set on being Trump's vice president. She didn't run against him in the primary, even though there was some talk that she might be a, a contender in that primary. Instead, she just launched herself directly into the Veep stakes, running that ad you just saw during the first Republican primary debate on Fox News with the clear hope that Donald Trump would be watching and see it. The official South Dakota state website even published a press release <laughs> announcing the ad ran during the debate, just in case anyone missed it. Noam has been running multiple ads on Fox, again, ostensibly touting jobs in her state, but really touting herself. And that campaign for the number two slot was supposed to kick off in proper next week with the release of her new memoir, No Going Back. Now, in Noam's defense, the book is generating her a bunch of headlines. Like, for instance, quote, Christy Noam describes executing puppy she hated in new book. And, quote, South Dakota Governor Christy Noam defends her account of killing own dog in new book. And finally, quote, Christy Noam's VP chances appear as dead as the dog she killed. Now, I will admit I am not a professional political consultant, but I'm pretty sure proud puppy killer is not what most Americans want from their vice president. Tara Setmeyer worked as a Republican Communications Director on Capitol Hill, now Senior Advisor for the Lincoln Project, and she joins me now. Um, Tara, I should just lay out, her account is that she had a dog, it was a hunting dog, it was a puppy, I think about 14 months, if I'm not mistaken, that it twice attacked animals, and then she shot it in a gravel pit. She also shot a goat, uh, and then there's a bunch of horses they had to put down. Um, <laughs> well, first, what do, you, what do you think about the politics of this? I think the headlines you just ran speak for themselves. I mean, Chris, these are horrible people. They, they're, they're just awful. Their nihilism and their bloodlust is pathological at this point because really the cruelty is the point in MAGA, right? And this is a perfect example of that. I mean, Christy Noem can make any excuse she wants. She can try and walk it back all she wants or blame it on the fake news media all she wants or blame it on her ghostwriter or the editors or the publishers. But no, she made the choice to put this in her book, a book that she has already audio voice. There's an audio version of it. So she was well aware of what was all in it. And she just made the decision to brag about being a puppy executioner. It's sadistic. And she's out here trying to be a political clout chaser, basically trying to curry favor with Donald Trump in some weird, sadistic way, because he's a horrible, indecent person. So she's bragging about a har being a horrible, indecent person who will do the hard things by shooting her puppy in a gravel pit. I, this is just a perfect example of MAGA. And frankly, I hope that MAGA's ilk is thrown into the gravel pit of history after November set, uh, November this year, because that's where it belongs. It's sickening. You mean the ideology? That's a metaphor. I just want to be clear, because we're Correct. talking about shooting a dog here. That's a <laughs> metaphor about the ideology. All metaphorically, yes. Yes, for, just important. Um, you're, you're actually from a family of, I learned this today, you're from a family of dog handlers and came up as a young, as a girl, like showing dog, like your family, the family business was showing dogs, is that right? Yeah, my grandmother was a basically like a Hall of Fame dog show handler. Uh, she handled Pomeranian. She showed at Westminster, the prestigious Westminster dog show, many times. Uh, she trained field and rescue German shepherds when she was younger, when my grandfather was on the police force in my hometown in Paramus, New Jersey, and she was in the women's auxiliary. My grandmother was a tough cookie. She was only That's about wild. five foot one. And my aunt is a championship nationally recognized obedience um, trainer and has <laughs> dogs that are obedience champions right now. Well, and she's competing in Westminster in 10 days from now. And my mom was a vet tech for 12 years and I was a junior handler and also showed at Westminster. So yes, we I come I, from a family of dog lovers trainers and handlers. This I wish that your, your aunt and Christy Noem had crossed paths years ago uh, <laughs> with, with, with the little, with the, 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 the puppy that she the shot in the, in the gravel pit. By the way, yeah. just she, her first response was to say like, oh, you city slickers don't understand life here on the farm. She said, we love animals, but tough decisions like this happen all the time on a farm. Sadly, we just had to put down three horses a few weeks ago that have been in our family for 25 years. If you want more real, honest, and politically incorrect stories that'll have the media gasping pre-order no going back um but and, and this to me is the key the key thing about this and i want i want to play this clip of bannon and don jr because what's clear again this is a this is a pr document this is not she's not trying to win the national book award for you know for for memoir okay this is a, this is a campaign document it's included everything in that is included 
to tell a story to curry favor with the kinds of folks, the voters that she wants. And I think she thought that they would like the puppy killing story. And I think it's so revealing what Bannon and Don Jr. say about it. Take a listen. I've always been an advocate of a of a uh, of a uh, of of a, of a woman as a VP because I think you have some strong women. Although Christy Nome, I think is maybe a little too based shooting the shooting the puppy in the in the gravel. Yeah, that was Look, not ideal. Yeah, that was not <laughs> that, ideal. I got to ask you. That's I read a that. Tough. I was like, who put that in the book? Like, I think I was like, your your ghostwriter must really not like you if they're going to include that one. Tara, I just think him saying it's a little <laughs> too based is so perfect because based is a term of like. Uh, you know, a good thing in their world. It's the opposite of woke, like based. Base is like hardcore. And like him saying it's too base is him admitting that he thought that she thought it would look based to kill your puppy and then surprise it backfired. Yeah, that's why I say that there the cruelty is the point has gone too far here, right? Like these people, the bloodlust is sadistic that they would actually like this, that she made the political calculation to put in being a puppy executioner as a positive. Like there's, I, it's not when you've lost when you've lost Steve Bannon, Don Jr., and Judge Janine, and you know Kimberly Guilfoyle, and like the MAGA of the MAGA, like you've lost, you've lost it. Yeah. So she's and just when you thought it couldn't go too far, I mean the American people they don't come together on many things, but being a puppy executioner, I think is something I, that everyone can agree is uh, disqualifies you from holding any that, higher office. That might be a 90, 90 10 kind of issue. Although we'll say for for I always talk to writers, young writers particularly about. Good writing details are what make good writing. And I will say gravel pit is really what that's going to stick in your head. Gravel pit, Tara Setmeyer. Thank you very much.